He's a monster. He's literally a monster. The billionaire rapper. I'm a savage! Oh! This music is gonna go down. Sean Diddy Combs' empire is facing a dramatic collapse that has sent shockwaves through the music industry as federal charges and civil lawsuits expose alleged decades of abuse, trafficking, and exploitation. The 54-year-old music mogul, once celebrated as a cultural icon, now faces serious federal charges including racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, and transportation to engage in prostitution. His arrest on September 15th marks a stunning reversal for a man who, just last year, received a key to New York City. Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami mansions raided by SWAT teams. His sons, Justin and King, in handcuffs in their own yard. Homeland Security tells ET the bi-coastal operation is part of an ongoing investigation. Federal investigators march raids on Diddy's Miami and Los Angeles properties yielded disturbing evidence that has become central to the prosecution's case. Court documents reveal the seizure of over a thousand bottles of lubricants and baby oil. Items prosecutors say were used in what they term freak-offs. Elaborate sexual performances that Combs allegedly arranged, directed, and recorded. These recordings, many made without consent, according to prosecutors, show victims engaging with sex workers in scenarios Diddy orchestrated and often masturbated during. Now, what they're looking for, because it was gone on the premises of sex trafficking, they're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be under age. The investigation has uncovered a complex network where Diddy and his associates allegedly arranged for the transportation of sex workers across state lines and even internationally. According to prosecutors, Diddy administered controlled substances to victims, frequently without their knowledge, as a means of maintaining control and compliance. After these encounters, victims received IV fluids to recover from physical exhaustion and drug use. A detail that appears repeatedly in victim testimonies and civil lawsuits. It don't make sense. How you wake up buck the F naked with two other men in the bed with Diddy and nothing happened. Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I will not be performing any gigs or anything like that. Um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. Lura, you gotta say no to Diddy something. Producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones's lawsuit has emerged as a crucial source of evidence. Working with Diddy on his Love album starting in 2022, Jones alleges months of abuse and claims to possess Hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings showing Diddy, his staff, and guests engaging in illegal activities. Jones's lawsuit also implicates high-profile figures, including Cuba Gooding Jr., who allegedly made unwanted advances toward Jones on Diddy's yacht. I think Lil Rod was trying to save face on certain things, that he had somewhat of a relationship, or he was doing some things with Diddy that he didn't want to really come out in that front. Rod said, it's been very, very tough because of this lawsuit. Most people don't want to come near working with me for whatever reasons, whether they've been in partnership with Puff or they want to just sit back and see what happens. He's a gatekeeper in the music industry. In this industry, to be successful, you have to have worked with someone like him or Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, Kanye, or 50 Cent. So many people I've worked with have had business deals with him. I reached out to try to get a deal for my album, and people don't want to get involved. He was larger than life, but at first, I, I didn't like him at all. You know, I didn't. I thought he was like, you know, ick. I didn't like him because, you know, I, Sean and I were very different that way. Why are you the defensive? That simple question. It's hard. It requires so much trust. And while Jennifer was upstairs, he was down there getting a fellatio from her. Did she ever find out? 
She know now. The investigation has cast new light on Jennifer Lopez's relationship with Diddy from 1999 to 2001. Their romance coincided with significant controversies, including the infamous 1999 nightclub shooting that led to both their arrests. While Lopez's charges were dropped, recent allegations suggest she may have played a more complex role than previously known. Lil Rod's lawsuit specifically mentions Lopez in establishing Diddy's history, alleging she transported illegal firearms into nightclubs at his request. Hey, what are, what are we doing tonight, baby? We're making um, desserts for our bonfire tomorrow. Okay. Because, yeah, and like everyone that was invited has to bring something and then... Our thing that we had to bring was dessert, mm. and then like everyone else, they bring like food and drinks. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. Whip that, whip it, whip it, whip it. Do you, know, I, do you, do you like it, Prince? Yep, I do. Um, and then drop it in the like, <laughs> Chance, look at everybody. Chance is back. Stuff. You want a real egg? I'm, I'm gonna give you a real egg, baby. So let me show you how. Want to see how Uncle Puff does it? Look, I can practice with one hand. Look. Yeah. Yeah, you got an egg, baby. Let's go. Here's right now. Right. That's it. As investigations deepen, Eva Combs's story has gained new significance. Initially presented as an adoption success story, investigations reveal Diddy never legally adopted Eva. Sources indicate her parents were friends with Kim Porter, Diddy's late ex-partner, raising questions about the nature of her incorporation into the Combs household. Eva's recent revelations about life in the Combs home, describing strict control and monitoring of children's personal lives, align with patterns described in other accusations against Diddy. The violation I have experienced during the assault has had lasting effects on my body, causing ongoing health problems and complications. The combination of physical and emotional pain has created a cycle of suffering from which it is so hard to break free. I want to continue on this journey towards recovery and healing. I'm glad that he is locked up, but that's a temporary feeling of relief. The most recent wave of civil lawsuits includes particularly disturbing allegations involving a then 13-year-old victim at a VMA after party in 2000. The complaint details how the minor gained access through a limousine driver who allegedly worked for Diddy telling her Diddy liked younger girls. The lawsuit describes a horrific assault involving Diddy and two unnamed celebrities, adding to questions about who else might have been involved in these alleged activities. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this Look. is sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. rock with me, but just right. check it out, you need, um, a lot of heat. A lot heat. of heat. Yeah. Heat. You mean that physically the place has to be hot? You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol and it also affects like, um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice, nice little sweat. Federal investigators are closely examining Diddy's inner circle, focusing specifically on Christina Corum, his chief of staff. Court documents suggest she played a role similar to Ghislaine Maxwell allegedly arranging for sex workers and distributing controlled substances such as ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms at Diddy's properties and on his rented yacht. The investigation points to a complex network that enabled these activities across various locations. The case has led to a broad re-examination of industry practices and power dynamics, with former associates describing a culture of silence upheld through intimidation and financial leverage. The federal indictment highlights how top supervisors, security staff, and household employees allegedly supported these activities by booking hotel rooms, stocking supplies, arranging travel for victims and sex workers, and even coordinating IV fluid deliveries. You know, I think there was a lot of fallout against Cassie herself, right, when all of this initially occurred. 
Cassie Ventura's lawsuit filed last November under the New York Survivor Act proved pivotal in breaking the wall of silence. Though settled just one day after filing, its public release revealed allegations of years of abuse, beginning when she was 19 and Diddy was 37. Ventura described savage beatings, forced drug use, and being made to engage with sex workers. Her lawsuit also detailed being forced to carry Diddy's gun, echoing similar allegations about Jennifer Lopez's experiences. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. The investigation has expanded to examine Diddy's business practices and financial arrangements. Corporate partners have begun distancing themselves, forcing asset sales and partnership dissolutions. This mirrors patterns seen in other high-profile cases where allegations led to rapid corporate exodus and financial consequences. The investigation suggests these business relationships may have helped maintain silence around alleged criminal activities. It's really tough stuff to kind of talk about and, and tough to read. Um, but when you also look at what else was seized from the properties at that time, not just video evidence, but firearms, uh, narcotics, you know, a thousand bottles of baby oil. Yeah, it's that's... bizarre. Video evidence from the raids reveals elaborate setups for alleged freak offs with events planned down to the last detail where staff managed everything from hotel bookings to medical support. Prosecutors describe how associates stocked rooms with supplies, including controlled substances, baby oil, lubricant, extra linens, and specific lighting, while also arranging for IV fluid delivery afterward. The case has put a new focus on Diddy's family life and public image. Despite carefully crafted social media posts showing joyful family moments, Investigators are now examining evidence of controlling behavior and potential exploitation of young people in his circle. Eva Combs's recent distance from the family and her openness to speak out have added credibility to other claims about life inside Diddy's world. He didn't want Kim to deal with nobody, bro. We would leave Jennifer's house. He would call a babysitter. If Kim was out on the town, we was going to every spot in New York City that the babysitter thought she was at. Do you hear me? Even when he wasn't dealing with her, he wanted complete control over her life. Jennifer Lopez's recent documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, has gained new significance amid these revelations. While not naming Diddy specifically, her comments about being manhandled in past relationships take on darker implications given current allegations. Industry insiders suggest Lopez possessed knowledge of Diddy's activities, but remained silent due to fear and complex power dynamics. Lopez said, I was suffering from a lack of sleep and ended up having a kind of nervous breakdown. I froze up, not on set, but in my trailer. I was like, I don't want to move, I don't want to talk, I don't want to do anything. It happened during the movie, Enough. Yeah, I had a nervous breakdown. Now to the growing problems for Sean Diddy Combs. Yesterday, we told you how federal agents searched two of his properties as part of an investigation into alleged sex and drug trafficking. Well, today, an updated civil lawsuit makes similar allegations. The federal case against Diddy is growing as new evidence from the raid surfaces. Investigators are particularly focused on electronic recordings that reportedly capture these incidents. The presence of multiple victims and witnesses has strengthened the prosecution's case, revealing what appears to be a pattern of behavior over decades. Law enforcement officials stress that they are acting on specific, detailed allegations, not a broad investigation. The case has uncovered complex methods allegedly used to control victims through financial manipulation and psychological pressure. Prosecutors claim Diddy used his influence and connections to silence accusers and protect his public image. The indictment suggests his operation has been active for at least 20 years, dating back to a 1999 nightclub shooting where he allegedly had others take the blame for his actions. 
alleges that, you know, Diddy, he will grope his genitals and he will grope his anus. My man, I didn't understand that one right now because his anus is your asshole. His genitals is his nut. So I guess he had to be naked when Puff was doing it. Where was he at? What was he doing? Because he said that they never had sex. If you read it in the thing, they never had sex. He made claims that they never had sex, but he, how would he grope your anus? Your asshole. How would he play with your genitals? Yeah, it don't make sense. I mean, it don't make sense. Former bodyguard Gene Deal has provided troubling insights about Diddy's operations. Deal suggests recent federal raids may have uncovered documentation involving young people, including materials related to Eva Combs. This aligns with broader patterns described in various lawsuits about Diddy's interactions with young artists and individuals in his orbit. I am strong. This happened to me. I didn't cause this. I didn't do it. This happened to me and it can happen to anybody. There are a lot of women who've experienced what I did. And he wants to have sex and I just want to sleep, but he says I can't say no to him. This much I owe to him. He buys my dinner, so I have to him. He's taken to forcing me down on my knees and I'm confused because he's hurting me while he says please. And he's only a man and these things he just needs, he's my boyfriend. So why am I filled with unease? I, I was there for a sexual assault case and this day a year ago was the day that day that the jury sided in my favor and said that they believed me. I guess I just think about all the people that weren't believed and the people who haven't been believed or the people who are afraid to speak up because they think they won't be believed. As a sexual assault survivor, by someone in the entertainment industry, as a woman who is still not brave enough to say his name. Industry veterans note parallels between Diddy's situation and other high-profile cases involving powerful entertainment figures. The investigation has prompted broader conversations about accountability and power dynamics in the music industry. The case increasingly suggests systemic problems rather than isolated incidents, leading to calls for comprehensive industry reform. What did you say to him when you visited him in court? Is he doing well? You guys have any comment going into court? How's your father? How's he doing? Okay. All right, you got everything. How's your father? Doing? Okay. Anything you want to say to the press while we're going inside? No. What do you want to think you were all sitting down with that? How's he doing? As the investigation continues, more associates are coming forward with their experiences. The combined accounts suggest Eva's statements may be part of a larger pattern of concerning behavior hidden behind Diddy's carefully maintained public image. The situation highlights how fame, family, and power intersected in ways that potentially enabled years of exploitation. The impact on Diddy's children, especially those still at home, is a serious concern. Eva's statements have shed light on the experiences of other young people around Diddy, sparking calls for more oversight on how powerful figures interact with minors. The ongoing investigation continues to expose new details about life within Diddy's world, raising questions about who was aware of these situations and when. These revelations represent a turning point in how the entertainment industry addresses abuse allegations. The case underscores how power and influence can create systems of silence and compliance. But it also shows how these systems can begin to fall apart when victims find the courage to speak up. As investigations progress, more may be uncovered about what really went on within Diddy's empire. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. So what's your oh. other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. 
Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you. But you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me. Diddy Combs' public image is facing big problems after Diddy's daughter drops bombshell details, sending shockwaves through the music industry. At just 17, Eva Combs speaks out, exposing what life was like inside the Combs family. Her revelations are sparking serious questions about Diddy's private life and parenting. Drinking dinner tonight Drinking. with my three sous chefs. Can I just say Tell me what we're making, girls. Um, chicken wings and <laughs> chicken wings, um, and salad and spaghetti. Yeah. What am I making? The spaghetti. <laughs> what are y'all making? Wings. Y'all know how to clean. Like y'all know how to clean the chicken. Come on, Daddy, put gloves on. <laughs> Cleaning that chicken? You want me to clean the chicken with you, baby? Yeah. Wait, give me hot water? Hot water or cold water? Cold water, girl. For years, Diddy has shown himself as a perfect family man on social media. His Instagram is full of happy moments, cooking with his kids, family celebrations, and loving moments that make his family look peaceful. These pictures made people believe he was a great single dad who could balance family and business. What did you say to him when you visited him in Florida? Is he doing well? You guys have any comment going into court? How's your father doing? How's he doing? Okay. All right, you got everything. How's your father doing? Okay. Anything you want to say to the press while we're going inside? No. What do you want the girls to know about Diddy? In 2020, Diddy introduced Ava through an Instagram live session that many now view with concern. During the video, he had Eva introduce herself and explain how she came to join the Combs family. I was on the streets, and then Papa decided he would like to be a caring man, Ava said in what appeared to be an uncomfortable moment. The story of Eva Combs has raised new concerns. At first, people saw her as a happy part of Diddy's family through adoption. But things are turning out to be more complicated. In popular social media videos, Diddy said he picked up Eva off the streets, which made people wonder what was really going on. No flight, okay. Hey, are you going to be in any uh, movies, hey, Diddy? Awesome. Yeah, thing coming up. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna, hey, I'd like to do a mob movie with you sometime. Thank you, yeah, Sean. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a radio debut, is that right? I read this on the internet. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, 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 all yes. of that. Tonight. In just a few thing. minutes, right? Tonight? That's a minute, yes. My first debut? Thing. Yes, yes. But the, the theme thing? of the night uh -huh. is family. Yeah, but... Over everything. Over everything. Exactly. Right? And what a beautiful family you have. Absolutely. Congratulations to all the success. Thank and you. All you. All the right, my baby. Recent investigation shows that Diddy never legally adopted Eva. Sources say Eva's parents were actually friends with Kim Porter, Diddy's late ex-partner. Gotta give love. Yeah. Just cooking with love, baby. 
not too hard. You don't want them to hit each other, clean each other. You want them to have that, that light. Finesse, finesse. This is like a famous Italian restaurant all the mafia guys used to go to the hall. You know what I'm saying? You had to have a, your own table. You can't even have a reservation. You know? And um, this way when I want some real Italian food, I'll go. And you know I got a table. <laughs> And, and what kind of what kind of sauce is this? Jesse, what kind of sauce is this? It's the magic sauce. Oh, the magic sauce. This is just secret recipe. While Eva has a close bond with Diddy's twin daughters, Jesse and Delilah, who are now 17, her place in the family seems to be more informal than many thought. The unclear role of Eva in the Combs family has made people question how Diddy interacts with young people around him. Industry insiders like Jaguar Wright and Gene Deal are now speaking out, suggesting that Eva's experience might be part of a bigger pattern of Diddy's concerning behavior. Hey, what are, what are we doing tonight, baby? We're making um, desserts for our bonfire tomorrow. Okay. Because, yeah, and like everyone that was invited has to bring something, and then our thing that we had to bring was dessert. And then like everyone else, they bring like food and drinks. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, that whip that whip it whip it whip it do you, I, do do you like, like it prince chance look at everybody chance is back you want a real egg i'm, I'm gonna give you a real egg baby so let me show you how once the out the pop does it look i can crack it with one hand look <laughs> yeah. Now you got an egg, baby. Let's go. Eva recently shared that life in the Combs household was strictly controlled. Former associates say kids' personal lives were watched closely and their friendships were carefully checked. This matches Diddy's public comments on his daughter's dating lives, where he shared strict views on the right age for them to start relationships. I am strong. This happened to me. I didn't cause this. I didn't do it. This happened to me, and it can happen to anybody. There are a lot of women who've experienced what I did. And he wants to have sex, and I just want to sleep, but he says I can't say no to him. This much I owe to him. He buys my dinner, so I have to him. He's taken to forcing me down on my knees and I'm confused because he's hurting me while he says please. And he's only a man and these things he just needs, he's my boyfriend. So why am I filled with unease? I, I was there for a sexual assault case and this day a year ago was the day that, day that the jury sided in my favor and said that they believed me. I guess I just think about all the people that weren't believed and the people who haven't been believed or the people who are afraid to speak up because they think they won't be believed. As a sexual assault survivor by someone in the entertainment industry, as a woman who is still not brave enough to say his name. The controversy has grown more serious with other stories about Diddy's social circle. Other artists like Rihanna, Taylor Swift, and Lady Gaga shared horrible experiences at Diddy's events, where young artists reportedly felt unsafe and pressured. These accounts suggest a setting where power was possibly misused. People familiar with the entertainment industry have noted similar patterns of concerning behavior being hidden or ignored. Deal points to other cases where powerful figures allegedly escaped scrutiny through industry connections and careful media management. Now to Sean Diddy Combs investigation, new surveillance video shows Combs being taken into custody in a Manhattan hotel last week. Our senior investigative court. The federal investigation into Diddy focuses on serious allegations of sex trafficking. Law enforcement officials have stated they are responding to concrete detailed, explicit allegations rather than conducting a random investigation. This has led to increased scrutiny of all aspects of Diddy's past behavior, including his brief association with Eva.
As these details come to light, financial and legal pressures are increasing for Diddy. Some of his corporate partners are pulling away, pushing him to sell stocks and rethink business partnerships. This situation is similar to other recent downfalls in the entertainment world, though a few supporters like Ed Lover and Luke have stepped up to defend Diddy. Quincy Brown, Combs' son, shared the family's collective message on Instagram, expressing their distress over recent events. The past month has devastated our family, the statement read, addressing the wave of accusations and social media speculation. Many have judged both him and us based on accusations, conspiracy theories, and false narratives that have spiraled into absurdity. Industry veterans have noted the parallel between Diddy's current situation and other high-profile cases involving powerful entertainment figures. Floyd Mayweather's public defense of Diddy drew criticism from 50 Cent, highlighting the division within the entertainment community over these allegations. Ava's decision to speak out against Diddy's carefully crafted image has led others to rethink long-held beliefs about his character and behavior. Her timing, as the entertainment industry is re-evaluating power dynamics, has made her statements even more powerful and impactful. Hey, what are, what are we doing tonight, baby? We're making um, desserts for our bonfire tomorrow. Okay. Because, yeah, and like everyone that was invited has to bring something and then... Our thing that we had to bring was dessert, mm -hmm. and then like everyone else, they bring like food and drinks. Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. Whip that! Whip it! Whip it! Whip it! Do you, I, do you, do you like, like it, party? Prince? Yep, I do. The relationship between Eva and the Combs twins offers a unique window into the family's dynamics. Despite never being legally adopted, Eva spent significant time with Jesse and Delilah from an early age appearing in family photos, and at events. This close connection makes her current distance from the family particularly noteworthy. Recent developments suggest that Eva's adoptive family has deliberately maintained distance from Diddy following various controversies. This separation, coupled with Eva's willingness to speak out, indicates a significant shift in the power dynamics that previously kept such stories private. Eva's statements go beyond family issues, raising questions about influence and control in the entertainment industry, especially when it comes to young people around powerful figures. Industry experts say that her age and close connection to Diddy add credibility to her words, making them particularly concerning. And, and you know what's, you know what's, and, and, and you know what's, you know what's so crazy is, bruh, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and try to engage. It's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him. But he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're going to push up under the rug and a few a few years later, bad boy 5678 will be out. Diddy's management of his children's public image has long been a subject of speculation. His careful orchestration of family moments on social media now appears in a different light with critics suggesting these displays may have masked more troubling realities. The contrast between public perception and private reality has become a central theme in discussions about the Combs family. And off the top at 5.30, we continue to follow breaking news out of Star Island. Several law enforcement agencies are raiding the home of hip-hop mogul P. Diddy. And tonight, we are learning it may be tied to alarming allegations. Let's get right out to CBS News Miami's Larry Seward. He joins us live from the scene with what we know so far. So, Larry, what can you tell us at this point? 
Authorities not confirming very much beyond the fact that this is part of an ongoing investigation started by Homeland Security Investigations in the state of New York. Behind me, that is the entrance to Star Island. You can see the Miami Beach police car there at the entrance. If you look to your right, you can see this is where the Homeland Security Investigations are set up with their command post. We've seen not only uh, HSI police, we've also seen a, an FBI agent and a numerous other officers going in and out of the house that is behind it. You can see the beige complex there, that home. We understand, according to property records owned by Sean Combs or Diddy, as he is known, uh, that property, again, being searched at this hour. We also know, obviously, Sean Diddy Combs has properties in Los Angeles and New York. We understand from our, 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 our colleagues in Los Angeles that earlier today, a uh, helicopter hovered above one of Diddy's homes there that a similar law enforcement uh they showed up there as well to search the property. It's not clear exactly what they're searching for or the details of the investigation. We've asked uh, Homeland Security about that. They're only saying that this is part of an ongoing investigation led by New York, but obviously the properties in Los Angeles and the property here in Miami being searched as we speak. We're going to stay on top of this story and bring you more details as we get it. But back here live, you're looking at, again, HSI police setting up their investigation at this house. You can look and see in the driveway, the gate. Uh, it looks like that gate has been disabled because it's sort of just leaning up against the pillar on the side as they're backing a van up into the property. Again, we're going to try to get as much information as we can. We talked to neighbors. They told us that these police officers showed up about two or three hours ago. So again, we'll dig for information and have more for you as it, as it comes out. For now, we're live on Star Island. Larry C. with CBS News. Bye. Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, has come forward with troubling claims about the situation. According to Deal, Diddy's adoption announcement was a publicity move that ended quickly. The deal suggests the recent federal raids on Diddy's properties may be connected to evidence involving young people, including possible documentation of Eva. Legal experts have begun examining the implications of Eva's statements, particularly regarding the unclear nature of her relationship with the Combs family. The absence of formal adoption documentation, combined with public statements suggesting otherwise, has raised questions about potential legal exposure. And, and you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and trying to engage. The entertainment industry's response to these developments has been mixed. While some figures maintain support for Diddy, others have begun speaking more openly about long-held concerns. This division reflects broader conversations about accountability and power in the music industry. Eva's revelations have encouraged the examination of other aspects of Diddy's empire. Questions about business practices, personal relationships, and the treatment of young artists have gained new relevance in light of her statements. The scrutiny has extended to Diddy's extensive network of industry connections and business partnerships. The impact on Diddy's children, particularly those still living at home, remains a significant concern. Ava's statements have drawn attention to the experiences of other young people in Diddy's orbit, leading to calls for greater transparency and oversight in how powerful industry figures interact with minors. As the story unfolds, more people connected to the Combs family are showing a willingness to share their own experiences. Together, these accounts suggest that Eva's statements could be part of a bigger, concerning pattern that was hidden behind Diddy's public image. This situation sheds light on the complex mix of fame, family, and power in the entertainment world. Eva's choice to speak up at such a young age highlights the unique challenges and vulnerabilities faced by children in high-profile families when they encounter difficult situations. These ongoing revelations suggest that more details could come to light. So far, Diddy's team has mostly focused on keeping business ties instead of directly responding to Eva's claims, which has only fueled more speculation about what might still be hidden. Eva's story shows some big issues about power and control in the entertainment industry, especially when young people are involved. Her short time with the Combs family is being looked at closely as part of ongoing investigations, bringing up questions about how young people in high-profile situations are protected. As the investigation continues, more information might come out about Eva's time with the Combs family. Her story is now connected to a bigger look into Diddy's actions and business choices, which has raised worries about unfair treatment in the industry. 
This is an ongoing situation, with investigators checking evidence from recent raids and more people coming forward with similar stories. People are still concerned about where Eva is and if she's safe as the investigation continues to reveal more.